Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss another example for converting the Cartesian form for the complex number into the polar form for the second quadrant. So now the step number one is having an argon diagram. So step number one, we will have an argon diagram. So where is the location of the Z? So in this case, the location of Z will be at the second quadrant. So negative six plus 8i so here is our theta the second step we are going to look for the modulus of z so the modulus of z will be square root of a squared plus b squared so in this case the modulus of z is equals to negative 6 square plus 8 square so we will have 100 square root of 100 so if we simplify the situation our modulus of z will be equals to 10 the third step we are going to look for the argument of z okay so first find out the theta so tangent theta is equals to y over x so in this case we only take into the consideration is the value without the sign so theta will be equals to 53.13 as a basic angle so in the form of radian the value will be 0 0.9273 radian now we are going to refer to the diagram And we will have theta and the argument of z will be on the right hand side so in this case the argument of z will be equals to pi minus the theta okay pi minus the theta so theta will be 0 0.9273 Finally, the argument of z is equals to 2.2143 radian. Step number 4, polar form. So for this case, the polar form will be equals to 10 cos 2.2143 plus i sine 2.2143. So here we are and thanks for watching.